This is Fred Beckham from Frederick's Fighting, proudly sponsored. Penn Bar Fighter on joined today. Dean, it's good to see you again, mate. How you been? Excellent, excellent. You're getting about, you're moving, you're busy. You're busy, Fred. What's happening? Yeah. It, is always, it is always best to stay busy, but I was at your show, I was on the Saturday night. Obviously, now you've had time to reflect on your show. How would it go? Was you there? I don't even know. Did you come? I, I came and said hello to you. Mate, I was, you know how busy I was in there, yeah. innit? Well, everyone's been grabbing you saying, Dean, come, come look at this. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's an amazing show. I'm really happy. We was very busy. Um, great fights. Um, so, yeah, reflecting on that, the show was a success. The board were very happy, you know, how the team worked and how efficient they were. So, you know, I can't complain. Um, now we've just announced a new show today again, um, a conjunction with Victor Smith on June the 25th. So, yeah, I'm happy, man. You know what I mean? I'm a happy man. I'm working hard. I'm doing what I love. You know what I mean? So we're not really working, so... It's all good. Is that, is that one of the most stressful things you can do, organise one of those boxing shows? Very stressful, very uh, tedious, you know, crossing and getting the, the dots and the T's together. It is tedious, but, I mean, it's something, you know, we, I've decided to do. But luckily, I've got a great network of team and support what, and, and are helping. So, you know, we're just doing it. Um, there is a, lot, a little bit of stuff, you know, I moaned about last week. It is what it is. I guess it's part of boxing, but, you know, now I'm just a little bit tired getting over the event but nevertheless I'm happy because it was a success and everyone's quite happy as well so in terms yes champ in terms of the team and the, the board so I can't complain you know what I mean so we're just we're just making our way through and continue hopefully we'll close out this year very very strong and end up maybe having seven shows done which is going to be a, a great great feat you know what I mean so yeah I'm, I'm happy right now Having seven shows is more than having about one every two months, which should be quite good for you, obviously. Is that good to have on your own shows, be able to get your fighters out Absolutely, that you manage? Man. Listen, the hardest thing is getting dates booked and fighters out. If you have to wait on people, the likes of matching Frank Warren or Boxer or if, before it was Hennessy or Wasserman or anything. Right now, I've got the destiny of my fighters or anyone who signs me is around me in my hands and when they go out and when they fight. So I don't really have to ask for favours and hang around and, or beg someone to put them on. You know what I mean? To be honest, they do offer fights, but the fights they offer are very, very hard for some of the guys and they're not ready. So they're not trying to help, they're trying to get the guys smoked. So, you know what I mean? So now, right now, I've, I'll be able to navigate the table as and when and as I feel. So I'm, I'm more than happy uh, how things are turning out. Um, this is the best thing I could have done. Yeah, great. Yeah, it sounds pretty good then. That's interesting how you say, oh yeah, some of the guys might not be ready yet or some promoters might be trying to take advantage of them. But what brings you to the press conference today though, Dean? Well, there's a, there's the man then, boy, Craig and Boatsy. You know what I mean? They're both South London boys. Craig's my brother, you know, I've travelled the world with and done stuff. We go out, we go out to eat, we chat. So he's my boy anyway, so I was, I was always going to, I was a little bit late. So, but you know, better late than never, they say. So yeah, I'm just, I'm just here, just kind of doing my thing. And then obviously um, Boatsy, big up Boatsy, he's a man I've known for a very, very long time as well. So, you know, I wish him well. I don't wish him anything. You know, obviously I'm, you know, more rooting for Craig to get the win. But I want both boys to be healthy and safe when they come out of the ring. Is that kind of hard for you in a way, watching two people you know for no fight? Fights. Yeah, hell yeah, I hate these fights. It's not cool, man, because um, it's just kind of a bit confusing a little bit, you know what I mean? But listen, this business is show business. These boys are going to get paid really well. And, and um, you know, they just need to do what they need to do and come out safe and sound, that's it. Certainly, but Dean, of yourself, what do you got coming up for the next few months? I know you've got a show coming up, but anything else on the on the plate for you? Uh, probably another show in July. I'm just waiting because um, on Monday we went, <laughs> silly sod, on, mo <laughs> on Monday I went and looked at another venue which I'm uh, going to try to get an inspection for from the board. So, listen, we're just active, man. We're super active. We're not We're not playing around. We want to we want to make an impact. We want to do some stuff, and we're happy to do in conjunctions and work with certain people on certain shows. But the majority of the black box shows we'll do by ourselves, and um, you know make sure they're the best shows we can possibly make. You know. Certainly. So we get thoughts on one fight that's upcoming in the next or well, for the start of June is happening. Devin Haney, George Cambosis. You won't be going to Australia though, will you? That I will not be going down. Under. You go to most of the shows, no, but this one you'll miss. Down under, 24 hours, 28 hours. You would not catch me down under. Do you not like, do you not like those long plane no, journeys? I can't take those journeys, no way. How do you cope when that happens? Oh, no. I I've never done one of those, I don't Very think. Good. I'm not interested in those kind of day and nights. What? I don't really like flying like that as it is. God damn. Remember that guy tried to mess around with the door already on the plane? I ain't messing. I don't like that shit. <laughs> no, that's crazy. 27, 28 hours flying. Forget about it. 
Uh, how, how do you see the fight going though? Obviously, Bill Haney, it's Devin's very, father. Very news broke that Bill's, Bill Haney, Devin's father, won't be allowed in. People not allowed in. I'm not sure what that is, you know. I wish them luck. Um, I've been to a few of his fights. I know him quite well, him and his dad. Um, so I'll be, I'll be rooting for Devin Haney, you know. Cambos is a good guy as well. He's he done a great job dethroning, you know, the, the former champion. What's his name? Lopez? Yeah. Yes. So, you know, I can't remember his name fully, but it's Lopez, right? Tiafimo, there you go. Um, you know, but it's going to, listen, Campbell's going to be a hard proposition to beat in his own country doing his thing. He's trying to do big dog calling all the shots, you feel me? So, let's see what's going on. Devin, get the decision out there, if it's close. I'm not sure he'll get the decision, man. He needs to get the stoppage, man, but let's see what happens, man. Definitely. Dean, thanks for your time, mate. Thanks very much. Cheers.